Hi, today I'm going to talk about Nazia Hassan. Nazia Hassan became a celebrity in 1981 with her um, very successful um, album Disco Diwani in 1981. She instantly became a celebrity, she was known as Nightingale of Pakistan, but but her fame didn't stop at the border. She also became immensely popular all over India and probably all over South Asia. So we grew up um, listening to Dazia Hassan's music. And this, as I said, she became an instant celebrity in India too. So during our adolescent days in, in 80s, um, we grew up listening to her and and because she was so beautiful and of course we we um we saw that only one photo in the, in her um in in her uh, long play uh, um, the the photo that you see in in the, in the thumbnail and but but we adored her we we was infatuated by 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 her so we didn't have any cassette player or anything back then. So we used to listen to her song on long play during uh, festivals. So those were eighties, and then, then when I went to uh, to college in high school, uh, became friends with Sanjeev. He had a cassette, Nazia Hassan's cassette, and um, she loaned me that cassette. Surprise, surprise! We also had a cassette player. I don't know how, but we had one. It's a luxury item. I don't know how we got one, but we did. This is a, a Philips cassette player, flat top, set on the table, and I used to listen to it during my during my class eleven and twelve. And I remember those hot summer days, and I used to do mathematics. And because I was concentrating, I didn't never turn on the fan because the fan is to to interfere with my concentration. It was like I don't know forty six, forty seven degrees, but I never turn on the fan. And it's do mathematics, all those um, binomial theorem and. Um, theory of equations and, and I don't know, sorts and everything. But I used to listen as to turn on Nazia Hassan's song on that cassette player. But I never remembered what she was singing because I was so focused on my music. So yeah, so so as I said, Nazia become, became our um, a darling back then in, in the 80s. And then I went to Calcutta in the 90s and, and Nazia somehow receded because I did not have any... Um, any music player or anything to to listen to her on so um so yeah so it, so so i did not listen too much of nazia when i was in calcutta but then i i went to the us and i i'll tell you one story before i went to us i bought a lot of cassettes in that that store called symphony um in esplanade um, below that the metro cinema and this is something that that we we're going to miss forever that symphony cassette store <clears throat> It was an institution by itself in Calcutta. It was, it was an amazing story. You could get any cassette in there, any music from America, UK, anywhere. You just name it and they have it. And, and it was, it's not a big shop, but it was a very well stocked one. And everybody used to go there and they will get that the guy will throw the cassette on and the, the proprietor will, will scratch it and take the rip off the, the, uh, the cover and then he will play it for you and then he'll show that the cassette is okay and then I'll leave it to you and he used to buy a lot of cassettes two three of them I mean, whoever could afford so i remember before i went to us i bought a few cassettes um, as a memory to go to the us so so i took took them with me and uh, one of them was this nazia Hassan cassette then i went to the us and and i started learning i mean i i learned how to drive and i was driving for the first time and I had a car and I of course I couldn't have a car in the in, in India is out of the question but I got a car there and the car had a, had a cassette player and I had that cassette so I used to play Nazia Hassan and, and back then I was living back in, in the middle of the city Philadelphia city uh, next to the Ben Franklin Museum at the, at the very center of the city and I used to go around the city and I used to drive and listen to Nazia's songs but I was so stressed out trying to concentrate on my driving that I didn't even remember what song was playing. After a while, I remember, oh, by the way, that, that song was playing. <laughs> so I remembered those days about about um, when I was learning to drive and, and I used to listen to Nazia, but I, I couldn't concentrate the same way. I couldn't concentrate when I was, I was doing my mathematics. So so that was there. And, and one thing I also remember that 
that back then and even today of course always um, us drink and drive was as a big deal i mean it was no no it's illegal and and big problem and then our inst- uh, driving instruction manual half of it was devoted to it and i read all those stuff but i, I still didn't pay attention to it i used to to get completely drunk um and i will go down to the basement i was on the 19th floor in the middle of the city i was telling you go down to the basement get into my car i couldn't even walk i was so drunk but i used to go around the city all the time in the middle of the night completely dead stone drunk and nazia was giving me company and and fortunately i didn't get into an accident because if i did i probably would be in jail by now because i was so drunk but it didn't happen thankfully so so i remember those days too and then i i went to the suburb uh because i got a job in in trenton which was philadelphia suburb so it was easier to, to stay in the suburb and it's cheaper too so i went to levitt town um, to stay there and there again i was still driving drunk and listening to nazia and one incident i remember while there um uh, i used to drive around of course in the weekends and there was nothing else to do because so i used to go to the poconos mountain the poconos mountain is famous for the skiing there's mountains um, just up the up the hills um, above uh, philadelphia north of philadelphia so as to go drive there not not during the, the winter not for skiing but in the spring it's a beautiful place and and beyond that there was this this river delaware river and it's called delaware water trap and it's a beautiful place and and there is a um, there's a waterfall there and they is there still american hype they call it niagara of america is nowhere close to niagara it's not it's nothing <laughs> it's bullshit but they used to call it that way so i went there and and i was coming back in the in the in the evening the sun was setting a toilet there is beautiful right isn't it in, in america and, and if you have been to america you know how open flat america countryside is and this big highway driving out there and i'm driving back and and nazia is singing dil bole boom boom and i still remember that scene that me driving back down south and and nazia singing in singing in my song sorry singing in my car and then um, then i went to canada from from us um, and i drove there uh, 3500 kilometers cross country and all the way through with all my belongings and my bicycle and everything else all the cassettes everything i had and all the way through nazia gave me company so when i crossed over as i say again it's a beautiful open country in the weekend in the evening and i remember ran nazia singing <laughs> i don't know which song it was i think it was a guy in milker song but anyway so so i remember those days even in canada in calgary i i used to listen to nazia whereas whenever i used to go to to ban for jasper drive down there in the mountains and and nazia was always there and again <laughs> i used to get drunk until 3 am 4 am in the morning and i have a, i had a decent uh, music system as to play her her music there and then i came back to india and i got married and i got another beautiful girl ranjita and she's probably prettier than anybody else and i forget all about nazia i guess uh, sorry um sorry sorry one thing i forgot mention that nazia passed away in 2000 and that was such a shock isn't it and and it tells you that how random life is he was 35 years old only that's it that's it taken away no reason and that tells you how random life is right isn't it i mean all these things we talk about love beauty god spirituality this is just bullshit isn't it at the end of the day it's just random nature between us a, a lump of chemicals and the laws of nature and and complete randomness what's going to happen nobody knows right it's disheartening it's cruel but it's true that's that's the way life is sooner we come to to understand that the better it is for us so yeah so so that was that was a shock um but anyway so so i i got over there and i came back to india as i got married i got ranjita so and 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 after that i didn't listen to 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 much of nazia anymore because i was listening to most of the contemporary songs back then but then came um youtube and with youtube nazia came alive why because the first time in my life outside of that one little photo of on that long play um 
long play uh, record first time i could see nazia's video her photos and everything else and and i could listen to him her uh, interviewing imran and how graceful she was i mean isn't it I mean, she, she was really beautiful isn't it so yeah i mean i i do listen to nazia now um on youtube and i i remember back my adolescent days my growing up days and i remember how how fascinated and infatuated we were with this girl so yeah she'll she'll always be in our memory and 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 i think nazia is most popular in india particularly for her this song this um um i think which, which movie was that i uh, kurbani i think aap jaisa koi mere zindagi mein aaye to baat ban jaye and there's probably one or two other songs in the same movie but but to me the most beautiful song by nazia is this um, one song gaen milkar jab hum ye gaaye duniya sare so this song i i think this is a school prayer and she turned it into a pop music and i don't know she did it very well and i just really love this song so yeah this is this is my my memory about that lovely beautiful girl and and i forever as long as i live i think i'm going to remember her and i'm going to listen to her her beautiful music i hope you do guys too thanks for watching